Hello Gurus, welcome back, welcome back to another weekend session from Alphas. Today we are going to explore part 9 of C-Sharp of Endostates and we will be using a new technique to bypass antivirus or we can check your antivirus capacity using this one. We are going to code uh, an SSL version in C-Sharp and uh, I will show you how to code that and how to compile it and how can we bypass your uh, or check or access what all it is your idea or handyware system so let me take you to the code directly so i can explain it better, it better. this is the code we are going to make use of it's very simple and it's very direct to us and i will show you what exactly we are going to do in the code uh in this one so how the engine is going to work here we are going to create a tcp client and as usual we have uh, we have to create a network stream if we are not uh, using the ssl stream we don't need anything further down just create a tcp client and as a network stream and just connect to the io stream and you are you are ready to use your engine here but we are creating an ssl stream and we are converting the normal network stream to SSL stream so that will be converted to an SSL session so then we are only getting as a client then the next step is the normal one we just connect to a server and start interacting with that and this is how the controller is going to work on the controller side wherever you are controller is going to work so the agent will be normally connecting, trying to connect back to the controller, right? So on that side, you should have a self-signed uh, pair of cert uh, self-signed certificate. There you should have your key and uh, the uh, X509 format certificate. And either you can make use of OpenSSL in server mode, or you can make use of NCAT. A any any anything will be working. The important thing is uh, the the uh, the, uh, the key that you are creating and the certificate that contains uh, your public key information those should be there in the, uh, those should be accessible for both these tools when you are running it on server mode and that's all it's all simple actually we don't need any code for this uh, controller side we are just running it on server mode that's it only for the client side we have to create uh, some i mean we have to do uh, coding on that side so let me show you how the code works uh, once again yeah this is a code right as i explained in the powerpoint presentation this is a tcp client and this tcp client is trying to connect to the controller this is my controller my linux box ip and the port is going to p443 and then we are creating a network stream it's very straightforward and actually we are taking uh, the stream from the tcp socket this get stream is a network stream actually this get stream function returns a network stream so we are taking that to the actual network stream then we are supplying that uh, network stream to this SSL, ssl stream so in that way it will be converted to an ssl stream so the parameter for ssl stream is a stream object and that stream object is basically the network stream and uh, the we are not leaving the inner stream open we are just making it close and here is a tricky part uh, there's a delegate type uh, if you are familiar with uh, c sharp you know how the delegate works is nothing but compared to other languages it's nothing but a model pointer or function pointer so what the uh, signature of this delegate is it accepts it returns a boolean value uh, it accepts parameters uh, you know there's a there should be i mean there should be an object uh, object type data type uh, it's accepting then the cryptographic certificate object then it accepts a chain chain object then that and then an enumerator as a policy arrays so what exactly this delegate how to assign this delegate inside this is very simple we are creating uh, a method that matches exactly the signature of this delegate 
then we are supplying that delegate here uh, that method here actually we are pointing to that method so just go to the definition of this method see here the here is a strict as you know when just because we are going to use uh, a self-signed certificate the server side so uh, you know that there will be a warning message so we are uh, telling this stream that just bypass the warning message ignore it completely and continue the stream this is just like uh, you know when you are browsing uh, when you see some invalid certificate or some uh, self-signed certificate on your browser you can see browser wants you that this uh, this is not a trusted uh, authority certificate so either you can skip it or you can continue that uh, insecure browser but in real time this is not well recommended but for this to make it working just because we are using uh, a self-signed certificate on the server side we have to use this code otherwise it won't work on this code uh, rest is same we are just uh, taking uh, this this as a, i'm actually after taking that we are all indicating uh, ah, this is another tricky part here we are all indicating as a client and we are saying that this is my domain this domain is very tricky i'll show you on the server side how it works and uh, this is a uh, parameters for other parameters for uh, you have to mention the protocol type and some other parameters uh, for all indicating all indicating this uh, stream as a client then we are creating a, a stream writer to write back to the server stream then as usual uh, for the i have sh already shown this kind of uh, technique on the other other shells that we have already used we are just uh, reading till the end of uh, till the server response is false and we are taking uh, it as uh, the bytes we are assigning that to a byte array and converting that uh, as a command and the actual execution of uh, the command is happening here and this will execute the command for you and is returning uh, a result and we are taking converting that result as a byte array and writing back to the server so we are flushing it off each and every iteration just to ensure that it's uh, it's a fresh uh, it's not appending anything or you know there is no any previous remaining data on the last tree so this is a uh, basic stuff happening here just go through the code and, and anyway i'm going to upload this after this so the end source code will be available so we can just go through it better actually i got this idea from uh, another guy who did actually it's a lady who did she did um, write uh, the same code in uh, powershell so i converted that that code to uh, c sharp that's all uh it's a cool idea in fact you can uh, the tricky part is here only getting us client and which domain you are just uh, specifying which domain you are uh trying to only get us a client so this domain has some importance i will show it on the server side so that's all on this code so let me run this code uh, yeah, it's, there's no errors. Everything is fine. So let me. Yeah, this is the problem with this one. This problem right here, and you can where the uh, the build is generating an binary exe file here. So this is the SSL version of TXE. I'm going to copy this to my uh, shared folder with my virtual box and yeah the file is copied here. <coughs> now let me go back to the server. Yeah. Oh, 
is wrong. Yeah. So here in my server side, uh, I have already created uh, for testing this one. Anyway, it's going to replace. So I have a file. This is a just simple bash script. Actually, this is the command is going to execute. We are using OpenSSL for creating uh, key uh, in PEM format and a certificate SRT in PEM format. This is a format to create a certificate and key for the SUSE server. And then uh, either you can make use of this command. I'm sure both command. Uh, first, I'll show you how to make it uh, run using NCAT. So NCAT is very simple. It's on listen mode and we are saying SSL. And uh, then say SSL service certificate we are going to use. And this is the name of the certificate and which key we are going to use. And then the port. So basically uh, it's going to this uh, uh, bash shell script is going to create uh, the certain key. Then it just uh, uh, start on listening mode using NCAT. I'll show you NCAT first, then I'll show you the same with open SSL. So let me run this in server side. So it's uh, generating and just creating the bank certificate with this bank info. That's for testing in real time anyway. So now uh, this server, server is waiting for uh, an incoming connection. Now it's time for to move to my Windows machine and and my actually I have my shared folder here mapped as Z drive so I'm copying uh, Z drive SSL version exe to this folder and this one is copied yeah. Yeah, it's here. It's only six fifty. Uh, it's like six six five six bytes. I think six KB only. So yeah, let me run this. See, we got the connection here. So just say for oh my. It's a fully functional working. Just say yeah. yeah. We have all this same machine here. Just confirm it. Let me config. 174. That should be 174. Yeah, it's 174. Yeah, the main interesting part here is uh, we can verify uh, the other stuff like uh, the sign. We authenticated. Do you remember that I showed you the authenticated domain as alpha smoke com? So we can verify it using Vashak static. And let's give you address oh, hello, so 74. Yes, this one is oh, we should have okay, we should have check on the initial stage um, on the server I mean on the client and server hello then we will come to know clearly which domain it was trying to connect let me try this one um, it shows only on the, that side okay let it be running here I will show you the open system then we can we will get the actual uh, client and server hello message so the domain will be shown on that message clearly so let me run it here itself. So I'm going to stop using the SSL uh, NCAT one now. Let me start using OpenSSL now. So 
just gonna do this out. So now it's going to run using open official. So wait for any coming connection and just come here. Run this again. So yeah, we got the shell to save your name. And we are going to say now how to find out where the hello message is. See the client hello is here. Yes, uh, thirty four, thirty four. Application data. Client hello is here. Just follow the stream. See here. Okay, you can see it's uh, showing uh, this network. Monitor monitoring services alpha stone core. So this is a benefit. You can just uh, make it as of any 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 domain that doesn't matter here because we are using our agent as just mentioning that the agent is uh, uh, mentioning or indicating this as uh, alpha stone core as a client. So it's very straightforward. So that's all for this video. It was very simple and easy to use. Just go through the code as I mentioned earlier when I began this C sharp tutorial. Uh, this is not a C sharp uh, basic tutorial. So once if you are familiar with the C sharp uh, programming language, it will be easy for you. Otherwise, maybe like a bit different. But try to understand what exactly the code is doing and try to learn it. Anyway, I'll be uh, sharing the entire source code uh, uh, on this one, on this repository. I'll be uploading this after this video. So once again, thank you all for your support. And uh, just uh, subscription is increasing. That's really a motivation. So I'll be continuing with C sharp and now I'm spending a bit more time on Rust. Uh, Rust is not like these languages; is a bit weird, more weird syntaxes. I'll be coming up with more Rust and Go, and more on Nimlang too. Actually, we have already covered some of uh, the leading languages now, like Nim, uh, Nimlang, Vlang, Golang, Rust, and C sharp. So I'll, we'll be, I'll be doing more videos on Rust and Golang. We'll be working on my AV Buster API tutorial to finish it. Then I'll be coming back to all these stuff. So till then, it's a bye from Alphas. Again, once again, thank you all for your support.